You may or may not know the name Fatula Gulen, but the Turkish Muslim scholar has millions of followers, and he's considered one of the most influential Muslims in the world. And of all places, he lives here in the Pennsylvania countryside. Dan Barrett is a reporter for the Pocono Record. He had never heard of Gulen until this month when his newspaper came across a blog on the internet by a writer named Paul Williams. The blog accused Gulen of being a member of radical Islam and said neighbors heard gunshots coming from the Golden Generation Retreat Center where Gulen lives. We got a Google alert about this blogger's uh, entry, the article, and it was like, holy smokes, what is this? You know, I mean, my eyes practically fell out of my head. The paper's executive editor, Chris Melly, immediately asked Barrett to investigate the rumors. As I started to look into it, as I started to talk to neighbors, as I started to uh, check some of the assertions versus certain records that I could find, what I was seeing wasn't quite matching the characterization that I saw. Neighbors say nothing about the blog was true. Some had never heard of Gulen, but they say the people who live on the retreat are always friendly. Hilda Snyder recalls a picnic there. They were lovely to me. They treated me like one of the family. Yeah, we sat out in the yard. We just had a good time. They're great people. They are. They're good neighbors. You couldn't ask for any better neighbors. So you might be wondering, who exactly is Fatula Gulen? And what is he doing in the U.S., of all places, Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania? Sociologist Mohammed Chatin wrote a book about the Turkish thinker called The Gulen Movement. He says Gulen's idea of Islam is all about peace and the idea of education. The Gulen Movement is, a, in a sense, focus, uh, focuses on education interfaith dialogue, intercultural dialogue, and the cooperation of like-minded people for peaceful coexistence and universal peace. Gulen was born in Turkey in 1941. Throughout the 1980s and 90s, his popularity grew, and he spread his message to all who would listen, gaining millions of followers along the way. He convinced and encouraged the younger generation in Turkey the ultimate remedy for the ills and problems of society uh, lies in education rather than uh, conflict. As Gulen became more well known, some groups took notice and began to feel threatened. They were worried that Gulen would take over the government. Tensions in the country grew, and when Gulen went to the U.S. for medical treatment in 1998, he never went back, eventually settling in Pennsylvania. For the past decade, Gulen has lived here at the Golden Generation Worship and Retreat Center in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. He rarely speaks publicly anymore, but he does lead prayer sessions several times a day in this building behind me. Though Gulen is now 68 years old and frail, his message of peace continues to live on. It is basically peace, understanding, and tolerance between the religions, between the cultures, uh, between the nations and countries and states uh, in every sense of the word, tolerance and understanding. Foreign Policy magazine recently named Gulen the leading public intellectual in the world for his devotion to faith and most of all for his teachings of peace. For Ebru News, I'm Carrie Ederer.